We hope you've survived Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and now all those holiday gifts are being shipped out, most by FedEx, UPS, or the United States Postal Service. In fact, more than 20 million packages ship every day. What happens to those packages? Consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with the results of an interesting experiment. Susan, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Well, the folks at Popular Mechanics Magazine wanted to know exactly what happens to those packages, so they rigged a package and sent it on its way, and they found out just how many times that box took a beating. The holiday shopping season is in full swing, but buying gifts is half the battle. Sending them out is a whole new adventure. I had a laptop once that got broken. I guess I worry if things are dropped by accident. It seems like they have so many packages, they don't really care particularly about your package. Click onto YouTube and you'll find plenty of shipping shenanigans. Packages being thrown, dropped, kicked, and crushed. So what really happens when you ship a package? The tech wizards at Popular Mechanics wanted to find out. And we figured there's got to be a technological way of getting inside a package and seeing how much abuse actually occurs. So they put this device inside a package to measure how many times it was flipped or dropped. It's when it's jostled and really just jumped around or pushed or dropped, etc., it's going to record every single time that happens. They sent the same package 12 times from New York to Santa Monica, over to Austin, Texas, and back to New York using shipping giants, FedEx, UPS, and the U.S. Postal Service. We found that actually quite a bit of abuse occurs while your package is in transit. FedEx dropped the package the most, around three times per trip, followed by UPS and the U.S. Postal Service. As for flips, the FedEx package was flipped an average of seven times, UPS four times, and the U.S. Postal Service came in at 12.5 flips per delivery. But we were surprised that it occurs pretty much on every trip. Popular Mechanics also put the words fragile, and this end up on the box for some of the deliveries. On those trips, the box was treated even worse. But don't worry, it wasn't all bad news. The package arrived on time or early with each delivery. We got to give them a lot of credit for getting your packages there fast. Uh, it would just be nice if they got them there fast and in one piece. And Popular Mechanics and the shipping giants all agree this was not a scientific experiment. They mm -hmm. were having some fun here. All right. At the same time, though, it makes us realize how important it is to package things properly right. in order that they'll get delivered on time, make sure they're there in one piece. Now, what is this? This is a new box. So start packing with a new box. Okay. Don't use old boxes. They actually lose half their strength as they're being used. So always start with a new box if you can. And can you buy this stuff in the store? Absolutely. So you should always pack with styrofoam peanuts, mm -hmm. not newspaper or really? other paper that actually will compress during shipping. Uh -huh. So you want to use the styrofoam noodles, peanuts, whatever you want to call them, right. and make sure that the item is in the middle of the box and fill the box with peanuts so much that it's actually hard to, oh, to okay. press it down. Because okay? in the old days, we would wrap them up with newspaper, but this is really, it's about the yeah, peanuts. Yeah, of okay. course. I mean, right. I think most people use newspaper, but if you can, go out and right. buy some styrofoam peanuts. Well, and but this is the other key, though. If you have something seriously fragile, you want to wrap it in this bubble right. wrap, right? Something that's going to break, you have a glass vase, use bubble wrap mm -hmm. to wrap it. And also, don't forget, if you're sending something that can get wet, mm -hmm. like a book or something like that, put, put it, in, it plastic. in plastic. Well, see, this so would make all kinds wet. of sense then. You take the fragile thing, you put it in the bubble wrap, right? And right. then in this, in deep as far as you can go, and then really surround it with the peanuts. Right, and then when you put it into the box, you want it to be right in the middle and at least three inches of peanuts okay. on all sides. Three inches of peanuts. Three inches of all peanuts. Right. You have to have the peanut zone. Right. All right, now what did you do here? Okay, so obviously you put a label on the box, right? right. Where'd it go? You put a, here. Here it is. Oh, there it here. is. All right. Label on the front, uh -huh. but also write out a label and drop it in the box. Oh. Okay, then so you in case really anything do. happens to the box. Way to go. Susan right. Copen, as always, thank you so much.